Welcome back guys with new video and this video will be uh, the first video of a list of videos about LVM if you are a Linux system administrator or a database administrator and your database resides on Linux operating system you need to be aware of logical volume manager LVM in this video I will try to give you a short and brief introduction about the LVM and the next videos in this list will be will cover the technical or practical sides of the LVM so the first question come to our mind is what is uh, LVM so the LVM is a logical volume manager and uh, it's also a device mapper framework that provide logical volume management for the Linux kernel most modern Linux distribution are LVM aware to the point of the being able to have their root file systems on the logical volume the logical volume manager LVM provides tools to create a virtual block device from physical devices so to make it easy also for you I have a figure I want to share it with you as you can see we have the figure here in front of us we can see here we three we have three areas the first one is the physical volume volume group and logical volume so from the name we can understand here we are dealing with a physical component of the server or the la or the computer the disk uh, one uh, we have here the disk one we can also prepare it there is some command with lvm to prepare the uh, hard drive to be as ready also to be added to the root uh, to be added also to the volume group so the physical volume we prepare the hard drive to be able to add it to the root vg the disk one uh, here we can partition it as well also this option also is available in the logical volume also it's uh, supported we can have the half of this hard drive with root vg the second half we can add it also to data vg this option also is available uh, once we prepare this uh, physical volume we will we can now create a root vg from this uh, physical volume so the physical volume group we can add one disk or multiple disk or multiple uh, let's say partitions from other disks it's uh, this also as again this option is uh, available once we create the root vg we can now create lv uh, which is logical volumes it will be a partition from uh, root vg so the size will be like um, bounded by the root vg you cannot exceed the the size if the root vg let's say 100 uh, gb the size can be here 25 25 25 gb or 16 gb 25 25 the extra size we can resize and uh, extend our file system later on uh, that means we cannot use all the root vg size we can give as much as we can later on uh, mount uh, mount point this is the mount point on the file system in the operating system so all the data will be written uh, for the root will be written here on the system home will be written to this partition and also once you create the lv you need also to make fs make uh, file system here to be able to use this uh, logical volume and uh, later on in the other videos i will show you how we can uh, we can create uh, uh, all these uh, areas i will cover all of them later, uh, later on on other videos practical side but here i will focus on the theoretical uh, again the same idea here we can have three disks here we can create as a physical volume create them and prepare them to be uh, physical volumes then i will create a data vg and once create data vg we will create a data one data two, two data three data four and then we can also create a mount point on the operating system uh, but we cannot create mount point before uh, first we need to create a file system on those uh, 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 logical volumes and then we can create a mount point on the operating system and we can write uh, on them our data so uh, this is the overview of the logical volume 
um, now I will move to the next uh, subject now I will try to show you the demo okay for to understand this uh, LVM uh, figure or diagram to just uh, reflect it on the real uh, scenario I try to just demo for you later on we will create all these uh, things but here I'll try just to let you understand the concept first so here we have the physical volume so I have command LSPLK uh, just I need to list the we can see here we have three disks those disks are still not uh, used 6 GB 5 GB 7 GB we can see here we have the this one the Ubuntu VG and the Ubuntu LV which is logical volume and we can see here the slash I create only the slash which is this one for this operating system it's a simple uh, example so we can see here the SDA3 it's a partition of the disk uh, which is SDA this is the disk I create three partition SDA1 SDA2 SDA3 then the Ubuntu VG have this SDA we create a logical volume called Ubuntu LV which is uh, this one now only so how we can list the BVs BVS we can see here we have the only BV is the div SDA3 which is this one this area which is BV this one we can map it here then how we can also list the VGs we can say VGS we can see here we have Ubuntu VG the physical volumes is one the logical volume created is one the free size is zero we are using the all the entire um, i think uh, physical volume or the volume group sorry which is uh, virtual size is 19 uh, g uh, gigabyte now let's list the lvs we can see here we have the logical volume which is Ubuntu logical volume it's uh, belong to the Ubuntu VG which is we can see here I'm tracking with you and we can see here also the size which is 19 gigabyte which which we are using the whole entire um, Ubuntu VG which is volume group okay uh, I hope it's simple but later on you will try to understand more how it's work and these things uh, I will go to deep uh, practical side how also we can shrink and how we can resize all these uh, tasks later on so i will move right now to the conclusion in the conclusion i would like to say that lvm gives the system administrator much more flexibility in allocating storage to application and users and the, and the main advantages of the lvm are flexibility you can extend shrink resize volumes as per your business requirement easy to migrate allow you to migrate to different storage with simple uh, command and few steps scalability and more physical add more physical disks and scale the space if that required after few years in the easy task using lvm of course also LVM support encryption if you and uh, main uh, encryption features uh, so the, that you can encrypt and secure your data and all of those uh, advantages they can also done uh, online without uh, just restart the, 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 the operating system and uh, that's it for this video uh, See you next video with the practical side on LVM. Thank you for watching.